in our individual lives, like you say, when, when something, you know, challenges us or stops us in our tracks and we're forced to look inward and ask those big questions of what am I doing? What is the meaning of my life? Who am I? Who am I? What, you know, why does, why do these things happen? Uh, it gives us pause and it gives us also an opportunity to recreate ourselves, mm -hmm. to reinvent ourselves, to, to, to really make the big changes that mm -hmm. we need to make. So just like at the individual level, that's true. It, it is also true at the collective level, mm -hmm. right? We've, we've experienced this and are experiencing this collectively. So the same principle applies at the collective level. It's giving us an opportunity to reimagine education, to rethink the medical system, to rethink uh, business, how business. we want to operate, and and even what we want to do for money. You know, how right. do we want to make money in our life? Do we want to uh, be chasing that? corner office constantly uh yeah. what i've been reading is the research is showing that people were you know they're kind of you're in that bubble in the corporate world and you're like i gotta go you're like you're, you're on that treadmill with everyone else and it's all about competition and who's going to get the next promotion and how much money can i make and if i go to this level i get this you know kind of a rev, um, vacation and um bonuses and and you just kind of like are chasing this thing uh, then you're a lot of people are saying, wow, you know what? I think I'm going to stay in my lower position, not make as much money and have more time for myself versus keep chasing, like keep going and going and going. And so um, that's uh, interesting how people were less materialistic mm. in the, um, in this, this stage. Yeah. I think that um, it, which is a good thing. It's there's nothing wrong with wanting to be successful and wealthy, but if you're doing it just to be successful and wealthy, and if you're building your own persona on that, then when that gets taken away, you're just Joe Smith and at home. You're not like the big executive anymore. And a lot of people have said that they had to really discover who they were outside of their their position and their title in their job when they got laid off it's like yeah. who am i and so i think it is a great opportunity yeah you know what i notice is when when the whole world shut down for those couple of months mm. <laughs> well the the news was that uh, pollution went dramatically down mm. right that indicated that oh we could literally change the course of what we're doing to the planet and how we're relating to the so planet. quickly very quickly and we saw that wildlife started to come back and, mm. and there was fresh air and all these incredible changes just from our human uh change yeah i think uh, in la behavior. they said the smog just went away and uh it was the days the the, the uh the sky was so clear, the clearest it's ever been. Of yeah. course, that's not happening anymore. But it's, uh, it, yeah, it's amazing. Th there's so many benefits to, yeah. Um, it, it, almost like we had to be forced to to shut down. And I think for me, when I was um, in the corporate world, it was 20 years ago almost that I was laid off, and uh, 19 years ago this May, and. Um, I remember it was so hard for me to leave and, and pursue something I loved. And it was, I had to have that disruption. I had to get laid off to say, wait a minute. Okay. I, I wake myself up from this, uh, hypnotism that I was in, to, like hypnotized by that corporate, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you get in that group of people and, and you think like everyone else, that group think, and you just kind of go with the flow. So this was a time to really go back and, and be home with yourself, be alone with yourself, you know, maybe you um, did the Netflix binge for a while, but then after that, you're just like, you know what? I can't just binge Netflix all day. I need to do something with my life. Maybe you picked up your first uh, personal development book, or maybe you started listening to di something different on YouTube. Yeah. And um, I know a lot of people decided, I want to work for myself. I want to start a career from home. And, um, and so a lot of newness came out of this as well.